Welcome to our lecture online. Our next problem here dealing with momentum is when you're given the, cost, the coefficient of restitution. And the definition of that is that's the velocity of the second object at the end after the collision minus the velocity of the first object after the collision divided by the difference of their initial velocities. Notice that the order in the denominator is different than the order in the numerator. So what we're trying to do here is come up with an equation that defines v1 final, the velocity of object number one final in terms of the initial velocities only, not in terms of the final velocity of the second object. So we're isolating the velocity of one of the two objects and we're trying to find its value in terms of everything else that's given, assuming of course we know the initial velocities of the two objects and we're given the coefficient of restitution. So we start with, of course, saying that the initial momentum equals the final momentum, and this is going to be the equation. Normally, we do not know the final velocities of the two objects, but since they're giving us the coefficient of restitution, we should be able to eliminate one of the two variables. What we're going to do here is solve this equation for V2 final. So we can do that by doing the following. We can say that the coefficient of restitution times the denominator, which is V1 initial minus V2 initial, must equal the, the numerator there, which is V2 final minus V1 final. So next, what we want to do is we want to eliminate V2 final, so we're going to move the V1 final to the other side and write it as follows the coefficient of restitution times v1 initial minus v2 initial plus, because when I move that across it becomes plus, v1 final equals v2 final. And then we take this relationship that we got from the equation of the coefficient of restitution and we plug that into our equation over here, thus eliminating v2 final that allows us to find v1 final. So let's do that. So we have m1 v1 initial plus m2 v2 initial equals m1 v1 final plus m2 times this whole thing right here which is the coefficient of restitution times v1 initial minus v2 initial and then plus v1 final. All right now we have an equation that only contains v1 final and everything else should be known. So now we have to isolate v1 final. Hmm. That means we're going to move this portion to the left. So we have m1 v1 initial plus m2 v2 initial. Then we move this to the other side. So we write minus m2 coefficient of restitution times v1 initial minus v2 initial is equal to, on the right side, we still have m1 v1 final and then we have plus m2 v1 final. So now the next thing we do is we can factor out v1 final and then we divide both sides by m1 plus m2. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the equation around and write this as v1 final times m1 plus m2 is equal to the left side of the equation m1 v1 initial plus m2 v2 initial minus m2 times the coefficient restitution times v1 initial minus v2 initial and finally when I divide both sides by m1 plus m2 I can then say that v1 final is equal to m1 v1 initial plus m2 v2 initial which is the initial momentum before the collision minus m2 coefficient restitution times v1 initial minus v2 initial which is basically the amount of the energy retained after the collision divided by m1 plus m2 and that gives us the equation for v1 final without needing v2 final of course provided they give us the coefficient of restitution and that is how that's done.